Welcome to AMC Month in Review, your guide to everything that's happening around the command. This month, Alabama legislators honored the state's military, AMC hosted its first team Redstone Small Business Industry Outreach, and the city of Huntsville hosted its first AUSA convention. Army Deputy Chief of Staff for G1 discussed right sides in the Army, and Lieutenant General McQuistion honored a 99-year-old World War II veteran. Stay tuned afterwards and listen to Miss Carla Franklin's rendition of the National Anthem. It's Episode 1 of AMC Month in Review. On February 6th, the state of Alabama declared this day Military Appreciation Day. General Vibe traveled to the state's capital and spoke with legislators in the House chambers. On February 18th, more than 380 small business representatives arrived at Redstone Arsenal to show support for America's small businesses. Uh, in crisis, there's always opportunity. Even when there are declining resources, business opportunities will still exist and especially for small businesses. The Small Business Program provides federal contracting opportunities, fosters growth of small business, empowers communities, and creates jobs. Or as Nancy Small puts it, small, small business, business is big, big business. business. February 19th. For the first time, the annual association of the U.S. Army's Winter Symposium took place in Huntsville, Alabama, where AMC was a featured command. Special guests included Alabama Governor Robert Bentley and the Honorable Heidi Hsu. AUSA's Winter Symposium provided an open forum for attendees to participate in discussions about the Army's modernization efforts and the immediate needs of our soldiers in harm's way. As we support the soldier of the future, we must strive to discover the leap ahead technologies that will allow our Army to maintain its technological edge. If you're one of the 9,000 people who liked AMC's Facebook page, then you received constant updates along the way. On February 20th, Army Deputy Chief of Staff for G1, Lieutenant General Howard Bromberg, shared realities and ideas for the future force with AMC employees. I think that we got to give you a budget and give you the flexibility. So if you want to do, like you said, I'm not hiring any permanent employees this year, and we're going to do overtime and terms, I don't care. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying you got a commander, you got senior civilians, you need to manage, I need to hold you accountable to the dollar amount. Questions from the audience focus on concerns with cuts in training, internship programs, and maintaining a diverse workforce. The RIF process does not lend itself because of the rules to maintaining a diverse force. It goes by how long you've been in. So that's, those, those challenges are really in front of us. And then if you're short on manpower, you can equate, I couldn't get those 47 things done because I'm 27 people short. How's the commander on the ground going to explain why something's not getting done. Title 10, Section 129 says you manage the workload and budget. The budget's going down, the workload's going to go down, people will go down. That's, that's the bottom line. Now, we are 70 percent reimbursed now. And in the case you described, if we're allowed to manage by budget based on the workload that we can see, then those same commanders could hire people towards that workload. On February 28th, Lieutenant General McQuiston and Representative Howard Sanderford gave a resolution to 99-year-old World War II veteran Robert Adams. Adams was part of an all-black unit sent to Normandy, France, three days after the bloody D-Day invasion. His first assignment? Bag and transport the bodies of dead U.S. soldiers for burial at what would become the Normandy American Cemetery. Later, he drove gasoline to the front lines as part of the Army's Red Ball Express truck convoy system. Mr. Adams epitomizes the idea, the concept of always a soldier pride and confidence in his training, continuing dedication to the Army values of loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. To find out more about these topics, visit AMC's webpage. And thanks again for checking out AMC Month in Review.